So what's up guys, it's Bryce here from Righteous Reptiles. As you can see there, I'm exhibiting today at a show. Got some cool snakes up for sale and I'm really, really excited. So you're gonna see my point of view. Doors are just about to open. So let's get ready. Quite a few snakes, all the white lip vipers, the Massasauga rattlesnake, and yeah, it's pretty hectic. Got no time to fall. Bryce here, and we're with Daniel. And how's the expo been for you? It's been great, really awesome. What have you seen that you really, really like? Well, I really like the Hash and Bulk, um, uh, Baby Bearded Dragons and the Bull Pythons. But I also saw some Arsenal geckos, newborn Arsenal geckos that were really cute. Wow, that's crazy. I've not seen those yet. You must show me where the stand is so I can okay. go have a look. Okay. Okay, so I'm here with Andre and we have a, what is this? Rachidactylus leechiana gecko suit. And what is that? Is it, it is the world's largest extant species of gecko by weight. You do get certain geckos that reach the same length. In fact, by, by weight, these are the largest geckos in the world. This is a uh, fully breeding ready size female. Wow. Yeah. But, She's so uh, beautiful. Thank you, buddy. They'll actually get quite bigger. Okay. Um, but uh, this is about a general adult size you'll get around. Um, but they do actually get about double the size at fully grown length. But we're talking about in five years' time. You got wow. five years to wait? Yeah. You can wait. You can wait. Stand still. Let's do it. So I just held that leechy on us, and the feeling of the animal is absolutely incredible. It literally feels like a marshmallow. It's so cute. Um, I obviously didn't film that. I'm pretty sure I said that already. But yeah, let's find some other cool stuff here by Blake. So that's the end of day one. I'm going to film some more tomorrow. Obviously, I've not had as much filming time as I'd like, but that's because I've had a stand. I love that banner so much. Um, but yeah. Why this expo isn't super busy in my video is because it's one of the busiest expos like ever. There's been so many people, literally thousands have walked through the door and I am running a stand so I can't film when I've got that many people coming past. So that's why it looks pretty empty now because this is the before the time when the expo actually opens. This is a? Uh, this is an Anieri Scalus. Uh, colors are a little bit dull because it's in the blue at the moment. But uh, once it sheds, it's going to pop. A scaleless corn snake. How awesome is that? I've never felt a scaleless snake before. They feel pretty insane. Yeah, it feels like they, ha they still have belly scales. They do have belly scales still, which is lucky for this uh, specific species. The ball python scalers don't have belly scales, so it's a problem with substrate and stuff. But at least these guys, you can still keep on substrates. Wow. Uh, like I've got them on the wood chips, you can still keep them on subs, right? They don't That's get amazing. any cuts or anything, so, yeah. That's so cool. Thank you so much for letting me handle this girl or guy. That's uh, a guy. It's a guy. Uh, Thank yep. you so this much. Is a, this is a fully scaleless. And then sometimes you end up... You end up with one that's not so scaleless, but still scaleless nonetheless. So you can still see on the back part of the body, there's still quite a few scales there. Wow. But even with the shedding and everything, those scales still stay behind and they still stay exactly as it is. So, shedding with these guys, that was one of the main concerns with this gene. But yes. Shedding is actually absolutely perfect. You don't need even extra humidity or anything. 
like that. They shed like normal corns in normal situations. That's amazing. And does the shed feel any different to a normal shed would? Uh, yes. Um, other shed skins uh, with scale snakes, you can actually open up and pull them out. Uh, when these guys shed, the whole skin kind of goes into like an elongated uh, piece of stretched material and you can't actually fold it out. Wow. But they do still cool. shed nonetheless. That's awesome. Thank you. Cool, no problem. Man. So basically, I think that's it for the expo. I haven't filmed so much, but it's been so super hectic behind the stand here. Really fun though, I've really enjoyed it. But it is hectic on your feet 24-7 answering lots of questions. And yeah, in general, I enjoyed it. But that's it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Bryce from Righteous Reptiles. Remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire and live it.